All right, bros, BMW bros. I'm gonna steal the Honda bros and go with uh, BMW bros forever because it sounds way cooler. E36 is dry iced. The Dreiss man, Mr. Scott Ailes, killed it. And forgive me, this isn't the first time seeing it because we shot a video and the mic was jacked up. So uh, all that shock and awe of me seeing it for the first time, we'll do a thumbnail like with my mouth open or something stupid like that. Uh, but the car is essentially restored, right? Just incredible. Like all of these arms, and if I wasn't gonna replace these because of the bushings, just bushings being older, um, there would be no need to. In fact, they probably look better than if they came from stock parts sitting on the shelf somewhere for the last you know, 20 years. Uh, but you just take a look at all the different things uh, that are cleaned up, like the, you know, the um, uh, toe arm, the uh, steering rack boots look brand new and notice you know I'm wiping and not getting anything on my hands and you know this was this had 25 years of funk built up on it brake dust and leftover cosmoline from the factory and all kinds of funky stuff this had um, the the oil pan had all kinds of weird funky mold stuff on it but the thing that's coolest about this whole thing is Sorry to my uh, my buddy Tommy F. Yeah, I'm not sending Jack up there to get zinc plated because all my bolts, my bolts don't need any zinc plating, bro. These suckers are clean. Look at that. It looks like we took the bolts out and replaced them. I mean, Scott did have the car for two weeks, so maybe he did. But I think um, I think the dry ice removal, or dry ice removal of dirt, dry ice cleaning is something that you know the world needs more of. Uh, and so you're going to see more of that coming out from 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 Scott, and then I'm going to buy in quantity from him, and uh, we're going to be doing uh, some machines that are a bit more practical than the hundred thousand dollar machine that it took took to do this. So I think I think he used about fifteen hundred pounds of dry ice. Took him about twenty four twenty five hours worth of labor um, to get the car to this point. Uh, so you figure that would cost you, you know, 300 bucks an hour, or what is that, 7,500 bucks, eight grand, something like that to do that. But when you look at like the, the brake lines, they look freaking brand new, it's just incredible. I'm so pumped about having, you know, this is my favorite part of the whole car outside of the, uh, outside of the zinc, all the, all the zinc bolts on our, on our um, transmission housing, uh, the exhaust, him using Osvo and, uh, and uh, triple or quadruple zero um, steel wool, uh, but the brake lines, I mean, look at that. <laughs> I don't think this line was blue. I think it was like funk green, you know, or was covered in all kinds of funky crap. So the, the coolest thing for a, an old car like this, and now this is a 37,000 mile car, I think it'd be even cooler if it was a 100,000 mile car. Um, or it was a car from the northeast or the, you know, the, the north of the country or in Canada or something like that where you could really find potential problems. I mean, this car is a really clean, really nice example. Uh, but the, the, the neat idea here is that you can buy an old car, restore it back to newish. Uh, are pretty darn close to new. In some cases, better than new because the cosmoline's removed. You can see leaks. You can see, you know, potential problem areas, and you can really decide if things need to be replaced or not. You know, like my sway bar end leaks look fantastic. I mean, the the shocks are going to get replaced in this, but even my factory calipers and the factory, uh, you know, uh, uh, wear sensor lines, everything just looks freaking brand new, brand spanking new. And again, I'm gonna replace some of this stuff and doing some aftermarket parts, but I'm telling you, the, the concept or the idea of doing dry ice removal uh, or dry ice cleaning uh, is something the world needs more of. And so I know Scott's gonna chase this really hard and I'm gonna do my part to share with the, you and the rest of the world and try to create systems that are a bit more practical if possible. I think it's still always gonna be rather expensive, but uh, I think for uh, many of us uh, that wanna have a system in your garage, the beauty of it is that uh, it uses an air compressor. You can use that air compressor for other things outside of just dry ice. Um, the, the disadvantage is you need a really stout air compressor. So I think this sets the tone for this car. Uh, it sets the tone for what I'm intending to do with it. Uh, at this point, I intend to keep it. I'm gonna build it OEM plus, 
replace a lot of the things on it that need to be replaced, improve the things that need, need to be improved, and then have this car for, for some time. I don't know how long, maybe it's forever, maybe not. Um, but this, this makes me want to step up my game, just seeing how beautiful the underside. I mean, you can't see it under the scissor lift here, but all the, the factory undercoating looks fresh and new. It's, it's incredible. So thanks to Scott for putting in the work. Uh, make sure to go uh, subscribe to his channel. I think it's right now it's just Scott Ailes. But if you Google uh, dry, uh, Dreisman, D-R-Y-C-E-M-A-N, is he two N's or one N? Just one N and trying to make it cool. Um, he, um, if follow him on Instagram and stuff like that as well. But through by proxy, all the stuff that he rolls out, I'll be rolling out here as well. And so um, we're, we're going to have things like likely have the Arrow Creeper. I'm going to have one here to play with, and then we'll probably get those in the store. And uh, we, you know, we'll keep chasing uh, a lot of the uh, the lot of the dry ice cleaning stuff. It man, wouldn't it be amazing to have it in your garage? So. Thanks for watching. Wanted to show you a little montage here of how this thing looks. And um, yeah, we'll have more uh, more dry, cool, dry stuff for you in the future. But this, I think we're off to a good start. The E36 is looking awesome. Thanks for watching.